Hello, my precious friends. I really hope that you are doing great. Welcome to today's class. It's our third lesson on vectors, whereby we are looking at our example number three, which is also a past case equation done in two or three, paper one, question number 21. So the question reads that in the figure below, OP is vector P. Of course, it's already indicated. OR is vector R. It is also indicated. Then you are given that vector um, OS is equals to 2R. So if uh, OS, the whole of this, uh, the direction is from O to S, if this one is uh, 2R, then of course OR is vector R, then it means that RS will be uh, vector R. So that when you uh, take vector R plus vector R, it should give you uh, the total uh, vector OS, which is actually vector uh, 2R. We are further given that OQ is equals to, uh, we are also told that uh, vector OQ uh, is equals to 3 over 2 uh, vector P. Then, of course, we know that vector P is uh, OP, so it means that OQ uh, will be equal to 3 over 2 vector P, which is OP. So this one is uh, OP. So if I divide through with OP, I also divide this side with uh, OP. I'm going to have the following. So OP and OP will cancel out so that I remain with OQ uh, divided by OP being equal to 3 over 2. So this one simply shows us that the vector OP will have a ratio of 2. So if this is our OP, its ratio is 2. Uh, so it has a ratio of 2. So OP is ratio 2. Then uh, we are also told that OQ is actually has a ratio of 3. So remember OQ is the total line. Therefore, if OP is 2, then this one must be 1. So that when you take 2 plus 1, you will get a total ratio of uh, 3. Now, having interpreted uh, those particular uh, ratios, now we need to move to part A of the question, whereby we are told that uh, express in terms of vector P and R, so part A, uh, part A, Roman 1 of the question, they want us to express the vector QR in terms of P and R. So vector QR will be given by, so this is a QR, which should be equal to, so we look for a root on the diagram that gives us a complete triangle whose uh, root values are known. So QR will be given by a QO plus OR. So this is uh, the vector QO, then of course plus OR. Of course, QO, we are not given QO. Instead, we are given vector uh, OQ. So remember when you talk of QO, the direction is from Q towards O, which is reversing the initial direction of P. Therefore, whenever there is a change of direction, it needs to be indicated with a negative. Therefore, QR uh, will be uh, given by uh, the negative of OQ. Remember, uh, OQ is just the negative of QO, then of course plus the vector OR, which we are given as uh, vector R. So this will be equivalent to the negative of vector OQ. We are given as 3 over 2 vector P. So this is 3 over 2 uh, the vector of P, then we are going to add OR, which of course is vector R. So we are given as vector R. So if I start with the positive vector, I'm going to have a uh, vector R, then of course minus uh, 3 over 2, the vector of P. Then we move to Roman 2 of the question. So Roman 2, we are told also to express in terms of uh, vectors P and R, the vector PS. So PS will be equal to so if i check a root on the given diagram that gives me a complete triangle of from p towards s of course the triangle will be p o plus or s so this will be p o uh, the vector p o then plus o s we are already given vector o s but we are not given p o instead we are given o p so um, p o will be equivalent to the negative of o p because of the change of direction then plus the vector OS. So this will be equivalent to the negative of vector OP. Of course, we are given as vector P. So this will be negative uh, vector P. Then, of course, we are going to add OS, which is 2 vector R. So this is 2 vector R. If I start with the positive vector, I'm going to have 2 R, 2 vector R, then, of course, minus uh, P as my vector PS. Then uh, let me separate uh, these workings here with uh, my line here. So uh, we are going to move to part B of the question. 
So in part B of the question, we are told that uh, the lines QR and PS intersect at K. So you can see this is our K, this is our PS and QR. They are intersecting at K such that we are given that um, QK is equals to MQR and PK is equals to uh, NPS, where M and N are scalars. Uh, we are told to find two distinct uh, expressions for OK in terms of PR, M and N. So the first equation or expression for OK will be given by, so I'm going to have uh, OK1 being equivalent to, so the first root that should give me OK must use QK. So I need to connect uh, OK on the diagram. So this is our point O. Then of course, this is my K. Therefore, a root that gives me a complete triangle that uses uh, QK as one of the uh, points will be given by. So if I want OK, I can use OQ plus QK. Of course, that gives me a complete triangle. So this one will be given by OQ. So this is OQ. Then of course, I add vector uh, QK. So the key point here is to ensure that you use the values that you are given. Uh, for example, we are given QK here. So if I substitute the values, I'm going to have the following. OQ, you are given as a 3 over 2P. So this is 3 over 2 uh, vector P. Then I'm going to add QK. The value of QK, I'm given as a MQR. So this is a M vector QR, of course, which will be equivalent to a 3 over 2, 3 over 2 vector P. Then I'm going to add M then the vector QR. Of course, QR, we had already uh, found it in part A. This was our QR. Therefore, I'm simply going to substitute it. So it will be, uh, it was uh, vector R, vector R, then minus 3 over 2, 3 over 2, the vector of P. So if I open this bracket, I'm going to have uh, 3 over 2 vector P, then of course, plus M vector R, then of course, minus, 3 over 2 m vector p so i can combine uh the vectors p i want to combine uh this vector and this one here because uh, they are both uh representing vector p so it will be equivalent to so i simply take the coefficients so the coefficient here is 3 over 2 then the other coefficient is negative 3 over 2 m so minus uh, 3 over 2 m then of course all of them are uh, the coefficients for uh, vector p then i'm going to add m r m r so this is my first value of ok which is ok one so i'm told to uh, find two equations for ok so i need another equation for ok then the second equation must use the root having p k therefore uh, my ok2 ok2 will be given by so I also look for a root on the diagram that uses PK for OK. So the other OK can be OP plus PK. So this root here from OP to PK, that is a root that is using uh, the second value that I'm given. So this one will be OP, uh, OP. Then of course, I'm going to add uh, PK, OP and PK. So uh, let me separate these two with a straight line. Uh, this way so uh, we move to the second part so this will be my ok2 uh, ok2 will be given by op of course was vector p so this is a uh, vector p then of course i'm going to add uh, pk pk i'm given as a uh, nps so this is nps then i'm going to substitute the values that i have so this will be equivalent to uh, ps then of course that is a uh, vector p plus n into ps my value of ps i had already computed it in a roman 2 which was um, 2r minus p so this is into 2 vector r then of course minus uh, p then i close the bracket so if i open the bracket i'm going to have a uh, vector p then of course plus uh, 2 n vector r then minus n vector p so i'm going to combine the like terms i have vector p here and another vector p here so i can combine these two so that i get let me start with a 2nr so this is 2 
uh, n vector r then if i combine these two of course this is a uh, vector p then of course minus n vector uh, p which can be combined as 2 n vector r then of course plus into bracket this will be 1 minus n vector p so that if you should you open this bracket n that is p times 1 you will get p then of course p times negative n you will get negative n p so those are the two equations then we are told uh, hence to find the values of m and n so for us to find the values of m and n we are simply going to equate ok1 and ok2 so this is our ok1 i simply equate it to uh, ok2 so the equations are my ok1 the final equation was uh, this one here this was my ok1 so my ok1 is uh, into bracket 3 over 2 then minus uh, 3 over 2m of vector p so this is vector p then plus mr plus the vector mr which should be equivalent to ok2 is a uh, 2nr so this is 2nr uh, 2nr then of course uh, we add into bracket 1 minus n vector p 1 minus n vector p so if um, i equate the corresponding coefficients of the given uh, vectors i'm going to have the following let me create some working space here so this should give us so if i equate i want to equate the coefficients for i can start with um, maybe r so i'll equate this coefficient with this one for r so equating the coefficients of r uh equating equating coefficients of r uh coefficients coefficients of r of uh vector r i'm going to have the following so r i have uh, m being equal to the other coefficient is 2n so this is 2n so this will be my first equation then equating the coefficients now of p uh equating equating coefficients coefficients of p uh, coefficients uh, coefficients of p i'm going to have the following uh, vector p i'm going to have the following so this will be 3 over 2 so i'll simply equate uh, this one this one here and uh, this one here because those are the coefficients for p so i'm going to have uh, 3 over 2 then minus 3 over 2 m being equal to the other coefficient of p is 1 minus n is equals to 1 minus n so this will be my second equation then of course after that we need to solve uh, the two equations simultaneously either by using elimination method or substitution uh, method or any other method that is appropriate uh, for solving simultaneous equations so i'm going to use substitution method so i'm going to substitute so I'll say substituting, substituting uh, equation 1 in 2, equation 1 in equation 2, I'm going to have the following. So equation 2, I have uh, 3 over 2, then of course minus 3 over 2 m. But my value of m is equivalent to 2n. So this will be into bracket 2n, which is the value of m, must be equal to, I continue with the second equation, must be equal to 1 minus n which will give me 3 over 2 then minus of course the 2 and 2 will cancel these two will cancel with uh, the other 2 so that i remain with a uh, negative 3n which should be equal to 1 minus n on collecting the like terms i'll take this one to the other side then one should move to this other side so that i have uh, 3 over 2 then minus 1 being equivalent to negative n plus 3n so this is um, going to give me uh, 3 over 2, then of course minus 1, I'm going to get um, a half. So uh, 3 over 2 minus uh, 1, we are going to get a half uh, or 0 0.5. So this one will give me a half uh, being equal to negative n plus 3n, I'll get positive 2n. Uh, this should give me uh, positive 2n. 
So if I divide both sides by the reciprocal of 2, of course the reciprocal of 2 is a half. So I multiply both sides by the reciprocal, multiplied by a half, multiplied by a half, so that I can remain with the n alone on one side. So this one simply means that the value of n will be equivalent to, so n will be equal to 1 times 1, I'll get 1. Then of course 2 by 2, I'm going to get 4. Therefore, the value of n will be equal to a quarter. We also need to compute for the value of uh, m, which is the other scalar or the constant. So I'm going to have, let me use the first equation. So I'll say using equation 1, uh, using equation 1, equation uh, 1, I'm going to have the following. Equation 1 was m is equals to 2n, but I have the value of n. So this will be 2, then of course into the value of n is a quarter. So uh, 2 will go into 4 2 times, so 2 here 1, 2 here uh, 2 times. So that means my value of m will remain to be a half. The value of m will be equal to a half. So those are the values of the scalars m and n. Then we move to part C of the question whereby we are told to state the ratio. Uh, they want us to state the ratio of pk to ks. So this particular ratio will be uh, given by the following. I'll be assisted with uh, this equation here which was uh, pk uh, is equals to nps. So if I substitute I'll have pk being equal to the value of n is a quarter. So this is uh, a quarter then of course uh, ps. So if I separate the variables I'm going to have the following on separating the variables this is what I'm going to get so I'll have uh, the following so if I divide through by uh, ps I'll have divided by ps I also divide with the uh, ps so that ps and ps will cancel out so I remain with the uh, pk uh, divided by ps being equal to a quarter 1 over 4 so that means that the ratio of pk is 1 so this is my pk this ratio is 1 then PS, remember PS is this whole line, huh? its ratio is 4. So it means whatever is remaining here is 3. So that if you take 1 plus 3, you'll get a total ratio of 4, which is the ratio for PS. So PK is 1 as indicated, then PS is 4. So the question wants the ratio of PK to uh, KS. So of course this particular ratio will be the ratio of PK is 1, then the ratio of KS, of course, is 3. Therefore, the required ratio is 1 to uh, 3. Thank you very much for accompanying me until the end of this particular lesson. I do not take it for granted. In case you are new to the channel, kindly hit the subscription button and also turn on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you'll get notified. So in our next class, we'll be looking at further examples. Thank you very much. Until next time, this is Kind Tuition Academy. Thank you very much.